We're back. <laughs> now we're back. Well, I thought you you were gonna continue. I'm I'm out of ways to, you know, give some love for Ireland and talk crap about France. Yeah, right. Fuck yeah. France. Yeah, we love Ireland. I like France. They won the World Cup. Show some respect. Well, they finally won something without America's help. Oh, right, <laughs> man. This is an international podcast. I think we should extend. Like the olive branch of peace. If not this is international, I just want to say it. Fuck France. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's that was actually the next topic we were going to talk about. How is we that um, on the list? Um, we weren't gonna. Um, you get to pick where this podcast goes, and we're not going to do France. I, I wanted to see if you recall that. Uh I mean, am I being outvoted here? I mean, well, I don't. I didn't realize I would have a vote. So I'm just a guest. You're right. You yeah. don't get a vote. Yeah, but in like, fact, I get two votes. This sounds like some kind of voting system in France. To be yeah. honest, that of course, say nothing is obviously saying nothing right now. Yeah, yeah. I miss him so much. Anyway. I never met him, but I miss him. Right. Speaking of great politics, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, no, you know, you know, it's fucking weird that I found. So, um, I don't know if I told you, Kevin. Like, I work at a welding shop. Yeah. And we make a- animal cages. Oh. A- and um, they yeah that that's the first question on the interview is like, are you um. Well, it's technically considered surgical materials for animals, and it's uh so so it's a real fucking headache because you, most welding places it's either co- uh strength, which is like railroads, yeah, or cosmetic, where it like is the b- biggest piece of shit, but it looks good. Yeah. So we have to do both because like you can't have sharp edges because if you're testing something on an animal, exactly, like, the doctor cuts yourself open. So. And I don't like. I, I mean, I'm not offended by it because I'm like, what are they gonna put like shampoo on gorillas? Whatever, whatever needs to be done. I need a fucking job. So fuck you, animals. No, no. But I mean, <laughs> um. So uh, what's weird is that I didn't even know this. That they were telling me about like each year about like, because I keep asking them like, so when the fuck is overtime gonna end? Because I've been working for like, like 55 hour weeks since I started there four months ago. Chiching. <clears throat> and they're like, dude, you know what's crazy is that. I mean, it's I work with all like super Polish people, so n- nobody gives a fuck about voting or anything. But what's crazy is they were telling me how it. I mean, and another argument about campaign financing, that they get super fucking busy when there's a Republican in because Democrats hate animal testing. Yeah. So that's interesting. I don't know. I thought it was crazy. Hmm. How do you think your coworkers would react if they found out that you destroyed the king's tree? The king's tree. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, I think I told them, but it was a day that it was someone's birthday, and he brought a shitload of vodka chocolates. Okay, so they, perfect. They found it funny. So they were distracted. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Vodka to the oh. destroyed tree. Wait, yeah. Polish people like vodka? Yeah. What? Wow. So is that a stereotype? Yeah. What the? F- Probably. Doesn't everyone like vodka? I don't. <laughs> Clear liquors for rich women uh, on diets. I think Russian people like vodka. Polish people. Only like vodka if you get to beat your wife with it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes sense. With the vodka, like I'm the bottle. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm Irish, so I like whiskey. Yeah, but they're not mutually exclusive. You can like whiskey and vodka. No, regardless of nationality, you can mix them. You know, to yeah. be to, if you want to really have you know diversity in your glass. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. That's. <laughs> and but uh, yeah, no, I I thought that was kind of weird. I, I didn't know that. And uh, the other thing, um, I'm just I'm just. These are all great ideas that I thought about. You know, yeah. great pondering. Sure. Um, well, whatever Kevin and I will decide if they're great. Okay. Yes, yes. I thought, well, this one is fucking great, man. Okay. <laughs> no no votes. We'll be the judge of that. Because <laughs> this is France. <laughs> sure. This is France. Okay. And um, what the fuck happened to chicks with dicks? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, like that shit. This is great. Yes. Like that shit used to be so cool, but it's 2018. So it's just like, no, this is the cool thing. And I'm thinking, no, we need this. We need, we need to come up with that click of what chicks with dicks used to be and I thought man we should Wait, make what did it used to be Well I think And what is it now Well <laughs> I need some context well, here Well now it's it's uh it's too popular now man it's it's an industry now Okay and I think that there needs to be a little bit more they need to be more um thoughtful of like everybody's fetishes and yeah. make something like you know why not have like goons with poons so like a bunch <laughs> of mafia guys 
with vaginas. Well, honestly, if you can think of it, there's more than likely a porno for it. Yeah. It it's is. like that's one of the rules of life. Yeah. Yeah. Was that rule 34? Yeah, yeah, it's rule. Yeah, that's the rule. If it exists, there's porn of it. My mom, when she was working at Playboy, she used, actually used to have, to have to screen porn, like to see if it would like meet Playboy's high high standards of porn. Really? Yeah. yeah there was this like she used to watch shit that would give her nightmares, <laughs> like there like all the bondage and shit like that. Yeah. But there was this one. It was clown incest porn. Give this to Hustler. <laughs> this is fucked yeah. up. <laughs> Did that clown meet the high incest. standards? I don't think it met it. <laughs> clown incest. It was clown. Someone was dressed like up the, as a clown, but that was fucking his daughter. Was it? Uh, was ICP involved? I think so. Yes, insane yeah. clown pussy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. That sounds like they have some. They have some deep insane ICP has some Everybody deep lyrics. Everybody come to the greatest <laughs> show. Gather up all. I think my favorite ICP lyric has got to be magnets. How do those work? Miracles. It's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, That's I think a great pondering. That is. Uh, yeah, I learned what, how magnets work in the That's fifth grade. So. I thought that was like Nietzsche. What he's just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very zen. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Miracles. Speaking of bands, so. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're just spot on with these transitions. Great, right? se- right? great segues. Well, the, I, I don't know. How, you want to transition this, man? <laughs> Mr. Franz? <laughs> no, you're doing a great job. No, it's oh, it's subtle. It. It's smooth. I, right? It, is, is it? Honestly. I think you're doing all right. Okay. I think it's pretty obvious, but. You okay. know. Doing better than me. Right, yeah. Fucking. Um, so, um, we went to. I forgot what I went to. The last. Renaissance Fair. No, no, no. With, oh yeah, I didn't mention that. <laughs> Speaking of bands, the Renaissance Fair. Right? <laughs> Tell me, I'm doing transitions bad. <laughs> Fucking. No. So speaking of bands, the Renaissance Fair. No, that that was a, it was fucking hot as fuck. Uh, ninety degree weather, and um. So you def- I mean, I couldn't even c- wear a, a, like a shitty fucking costume like made last moment because of how hot it was. You know. That uh, how were the how were the actors were they the actors yeah like aren't there just people like walking around one like, person got hello sir one person got me convinced because it's kind of in like a trailer park area sure and it was a witch with no teeth I'm like yep she's she's the meth addict you know that's <laughs> sure did they have meth back then uh, that's a good question yeah. I mean if she's a witch and she's got all those like boiling that's true the uh, labs and everything but um yeah the I mean uh I don't I don't know I didn't. Everything that I got excited about kind of turned me down. I'm like, ooh, uh-huh. there's a fucking chainmail shop, and I go in there, and it's like all bracelets. There's no fucking like I want, you know, a chainmail thong or sure. or like a fucking workout shirt, you know. Sure. I can't now. I can't stop picturing you in a chainmail thong. Right. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Someone's not sleeping tonight. That meets Playboy's high standards. Exactly. Right? I'll push this on a hustler. Playboy, if you're listening. <laughs> they're not listening. No, they're not. Are they yeah. a thing anymore? They are still a thing. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I, I would not get the chainmail thong. I'm a welder, okay? That that has certain precautions. Yeah, you can make, yeah, you can make your own. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, would that be considered cosmetic or strength, though? Ooh. Hmm. Well, I'm I'm white man. So yeah, exactly. It, it, there's no strength. There's a little bit either. of both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, I don't know, but I mean, I'm I'm trying to think what else like expensive fucking food. Uh, well, yeah, it's a fest. What do you expect? Yeah, how much were how much was it to get in? I think it, I think it was only like twenty bucks. Okay, and then but but then like you know twenty bucks for a fucking pickle on a popsicle stick. Yeah, right. it's like it's twenty bucks just admission that it doesn't get you anything, not like a free beer or anything like that. No, 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 fuck that. Yeah, I can't stand fests like that. And then the beers that you do get is like half of this red cup. Exactly, you're paying so. you're paying ten dollars for a three dollar beer. Yeah, fancy yeah. some ale, sir. A pint reminds of lager as, reminds me of farewell to Slayer, right? That oh my god, fourteen dollar fucking what margarita fucking, or bloody no, mary? No, those are like eighteen tall boys of lime marita. Yeah, yeah, it was no fucking you. no bad. I went to uh, the last concert I was at. I went to go get a beer. Just a, a just a twelve ounce bottle of Miller Lite was like fifteen dollars. Uh, I can go to the liquor store and get a I get a six pack of craft beer for fifteen dollars. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's well. That's true about like everything in life, you know. And I've been thinking about it now that I moved out. And I'm on a budget. Like, oh, I could go to this brewery and get twenty ounces of awesome beer, or go home and slam a twelve pack of old style for the same price. Yeah. So. See, and personally, t- and tell I would, buddy. Yeah. Tell everyone at the bar, fuck this place. Go come to my yeah, place. Right? That's yeah, and that's what I do. I don't. I go to the brewery not to purchase their product, just to let them know that I'm not purchasing their product. Like eight dollars, I could get a twelve pack of old style and slam it at home. 
I'm leaving. See, I'm really indignant about it. See, personally, I'd I'd go for the uh, I'd go for the uh, twenty ounces of beer over the old style. Really? Yeah. But you're not much of a drinker. No, I'm. I drink more for the taste. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're doing it wrong. Well, it's okay. <laughs> the more you drink, the better it tastes. Well, I I disagree. <laughs> I can piss in a can. You probably still think it tastes like old style. Probably. Yeah. No. Hot right. tub. Hot tub. Bro, water. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Man. Put a little cat just, food with that. Just add some vodka, add some whiskey, that, and more diversity <laughs> there. <right? laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Right? Uh, speaking of terrible, terrible drinks, music is cool. <laughs> yeah, <right>? exactly. We <laughs> never talked about the yeah, music. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. No, um, so, so uh, Kevin, you haven't met Ross. He's a huge fucking pain in the ass. Okay. I, uh, everybody loves how much he drives me nuts. He, um, he gets super... Like not like no, he's a cool guy to chill with. He's funny, but the more he drinks, he gets so fucking emotional, so emotional. I don't, I still don't believe that he made out with that. I think he was like making out with anybody next to that girl that he keeps talking about. I'm just yeah. thinking it was that girl because he just gets emotional with anybody. Do you think he's talked to her? No, actually, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get her Facebook and and arrange that where. We're gonna get him laid on the podcast for the first time. I l- yeah yeah that's no that's still that's still on the that's the, the plan. Top is, is, is it on the list? Not for today. Okay, well, I mean, just put it on the list always as yeah. like a project we're working yeah. on. Uh, this podcast has a higher purpose. Mm-hmm. It's not just mindless entertainment. We're here to improve ourselves in the world around us. And Kevin, I think you've picked up on that. Not at all. That it's very very mindful. We're very uh. aware, and we're gonna get Ross laid and. It's going to be beautiful. Tribute to the love of our f- of us for friends. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Yes. So if we're getting him laid, like how expensive of a hooker are we going to buy for him? I oh. mean, I mean, you can skimp out on the hooker and just spend just buy a little penicillin after it. The r- there yeah. you go. You got to work the numbers. Exactly. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I don't know the way the if it's hourly or like salary, because right. if she can make fit in, you know, if Ross it's his first time. She might be able to make some like sandwiches afterwards. That's true, you know, exactly. With the time left over. Well, is it like when you buy it, when you buy hours in bulk, do, do they somehow cut a deal after after a little bit? Oh, that's a good question. That Costco yeah. of hookers, right? <laughs> right. And here's actually here's actually a question: Do you tip a prostitute? Hmm. I think so. It's that, a service. Well, France doesn't tip. <laughs> so, all right, uh, this <laughs> anti-French rhetoric. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle Laurent. Is French and he's a very nice man. Okay, and yeah, it's probably all the Frenchmen. Yeah, no, actually, I wouldn't mind going to France if it wasn't all those French people there. Well, yeah, that's a problem. Okay. Yeah, I kind of have a, a problem with the country that doesn't believe in antiperspirant. Mm. Is that a thing? They don't believe in antiperspirant. They don't. Yeah, they, they don't have the order. It's in. It's in their constitution. Do they shave their armpits? Uh, not, not, not most of the women I've heard. Hmm. Mm. Phil, how does it make you feel? Um, I don't know. It makes, it makes me feel very feminine because I shave mine. Right. Does that meet Playboy's high standards? Maybe. Interesting. That, that's Maybe. one of those Playboy moments where you get nightmares. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Watching you shave your armpits. Yeah. Yeah. Man. But I yeah, I, I was um, I, I w- like Behemoth is coming. Behemoth was like one of the only bands I wanted to see at Slayer, and now they're coming to House of Blues. Mm-hmm. And tickets I knew- are like fucking forty five fifty. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I made uh, I told say nothing to come with me mm-hmm. because I wanted some way to get out of going with Ross. Sure. To be honest, you know, whatever. We all have those one kind of friends. Yeah. Yeah. I ca- and so like I um, the funny thing is like the whole time I was fucking around because because I like to bust balls with Ross and he just kept believing everything so I just kept going, you know. He's like, oh, why why can't I go with you? I'm like, well, John, um, he drives a Ferrari, and there's no trunks in those, so it's a two person. Like, oh, okay, well. I can. T- I mean, can, can we still go together? I'm like, well, I I told him I'm going with him, and you know, he's going through some stuff like you know that stuff where you like need to see Behemoth with only one other person. Yeah, <laughs> you know? no, I understand. Yeah, very specific stuff. <clears throat> and um, I ended up telling him. I don't know if you know about this. Like, there's a shitload of like, uh, black metal bands getting shut down by like Antifa and shit. No, I don't think I've, I don't yeah. think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, they're getting a shit. Uh, and 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 like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm not. G- I'm not nuts about the whole political thing, but I don't want to fucking like. I think if you, if you don't like a show, just don't fucking go to it. Exactly. Don't protest it. You know. So I um, 
because it happened to me. I, I was going to a show and, and they like emailed me. Oh no, these tickets aren't valid because they got canceled because of a fucking protest. But anyways, um, so I told Ross uh, because well we got to explain this. So because I uh, Ross likes to be not only um, emotional but obnoxious and sometimes racist when he's drunk. Always racist. I've when got he's a friend drunk. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 not in a good sight, especially. Do you, uh, you ever listen to Dead Kennedys? A uh, little bit here and there. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know how sarcastic and and he's like, I fucking love him. He's great. Uh, Jello is the singer. Yeah. Well, we went to go see um, his solo band a few years ago called uh, Jello and the Guantanamo School Bay uh, School of Medicine or something. And we're like front row, and and I'm like, oh, we're totally gonna meet him after because I meet like every band. I have some luck after the show. Yeah. So he sees us like front row, and this is like while Obama's in office. And there's all these rumors about, oh, like the next candidate, like this is like right when Trump started like campaigning yeah, and talking about the whole wall shit. So Jello's on stage, like he's taking like a five minute break talking about, how, oh yeah, let's build a wall for all the Mexicans because that's going to work. And Ross is like right behind me, yeah, fuck the Mexicans, like <laughs> thinking that he's being serious. Yeah. yeah I'm like- Dude, fucking Christ, we're getting out of here. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, my God. And there's no way we're going to meet him. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, and, and anyways, so um, I told him that uh, I actually personally emailed, like, because cause he keeps trying to go to with me to Behemoth. I told him, I'm like, well, uh, I emailed Behemoth, and I'm like, you know, because they're Polish, so I, I even wrote in Polish to sort of have a better connection. I have a friend who's known to be very anti-Semitic. And he likes to scream, fuck the Mexicans at shows. Is it okay that I take him to your show? And they responded that, uh, no, no, we definitely have him on our list as he is prohibited on the grounds and has to stay a mile away. And, uh, yeah, Ross fell for it. <laughs> so so is he convinced? Yeah, he's convinced. I, 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 was telling, I was telling Say Nothing, like, yo, dude, I'm totally going to, like, you know, forge a PDF of the email. And sure. It's like, he's not going to believe that. That's, that's so easy. And he, I didn't even need to do the PDF. I mean, my next step he, was, uh, Kelly, Kelly told me to just stop right there. Cause it's mean, but I mean, I just wanted to keep going. Cause I was going to tell him that, Oh, we got VIP tickets to the, where there's a Jesus pinata party with behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, got to love gullible people. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and he, and he, and I told him that, but he, te- he's like, yeah, prove it. And I was just too lazy to make the PDF of uh, <laughs> uh, Jesus Pinata Party with Behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> so is that when the joke stopped when he questioned it? Yeah, yeah, that's where it stopped. So are you going to go to the show with him? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. Hon- honestly, that's the biggest pain in the ass. Hmm. Like carrying him wasted to the fucking car and like sure. trying to have him catch up. Oh, he's always one of those guys who just is constantly wasted. Or just, yeah, yeah. That's that's my friend Chris. Yeah, yeah. sounds like a cool dude. Yeah, he's. He, like you, I don't like drinking with him as much. But you never know what you're gonna get with him. Yeah. Like they say, there are like you know three like pretty much solid emotions when you're when you're drinking. Either yeah, happy, sad, angry, or a fourth one, violent. He's all four of them. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. There's this one time he was drinking. Where he was drinking pretty much a half a bottle of Jose Cuervo, and he passes out in his kitchen right by his basement stairs. And I tell him, hey man, you gotta move. You're gonna you're gonna fall down your stairs. He's like, oh fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. So I kept. So, so this I w- is happy. He's happy drunk now. I would say, in con- by comparison, yes. Okay. <laughs> he just got done being angry, and so I I ended up dragging him away from his stairs so he doesn't fall and break his fucking neck. Mm-hmm. And he gets up, ready to punch me, and he, I I point to where he was laying. And he's like, I was right by the stairs. I would have fallen, and you moved me. And I was right by the stairs. I could have fallen. You would have, and you moved me. Repeating this at least four or five times. Then he just proceeds to cry on my shoulder, saying, "You're my best friend." Sad, drunk. giving me a hug, and then two seconds after that, he says, "Okay, Kevin, I'm gonna teach you how to fight now." <laughs> yeah. So he's back to happy drunk. Exactly. It's just happy like violent. I guess he more or less manic depressant drunk. I guess. Sure. Yeah. Well, does he like metal? Would he maybe want to go to Behemoth? He fucking loves metal, actually. Oh my God, those Phil. metal fucking drunks, man. Can we? Yeah. I think. The two of them, Ross at his side, you know, wingman, find some vampire chicks. Uh, is yeah. this, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What, makeout session? Yeah, dude, right now. Let's go. No, I mean, like, oh. I didn't realize it was that kind of podcast. Yeah, what the? Uh, sorry. I brush my teeth this we're, morning, then. We're, right? We're just trying to meet those high Playboy standards. Dude, speaking, dude, 
That just reminded me that speaking of that would rather stuff. Yeah. Oh my fucking god, dude! Yesterday we played Bean Boozled. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever played that? I've heard of it. I never actually played. Oh my god, it was so bad because I got a bag where I got all the shitty ones, Ugh. every single one. Where like the white one was either. So for anybody listening, Bean Boozled is it's a jelly bean sponsored game you get a bunch of jelly bean bags and then you spin on which one you get and you have to guess which one it is and it's like different colors so you have a little spinner yeah and a lens on a color and if it's white it's either coconut or spoiled milk or spoiled milk and i got every single bad one coconut i got the spoiled milk then there's like pink with red spots on it you either get like tutti frutti or barf i got the barf and then like green was supposed to be like lime or minion fart (laughs) i got minion fart you know like every single fucking what, one. So want to go shopping at the Jelly Belly thing and just get all the joke ones? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even like jelly beans, so it made it even <laughs> worse. Like, <laughs> And th- I think the, and then there was a, what was it? Brown one was chocolate or dog food can. At least it wasn't shit. Yeah, right? Yeah. I, I wish they would step over that line, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Ye- yeast, vagina bread, or, you know? You know, um, <laughs> Cards Against Humanity a while ago, they were saying, send us $10 and we'll send you nothing. And they sent, the people who actually sent them $10 got a box literally full of nothing. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. They did the same thing like the next year. Send us like $15 and we'll send you a piece of shit. Everyone yeah. got a dehydrated piece of uh, bullshit. Really? Yeah. I would rather oh. get that than Open. like, than like I, I had a friend that I work with who would make these fucking paintings where he just splats brown on it. And he's like, yeah, this one's called... I'm not over the breakup. <laughs> you know? Does he sound like that? Yeah, uh, he, he's awesome. exactly like that. And and then and and then you know another one, a different splat in a different corner. She's still obsessed with me. That's what this one's called. You know, <laughs> and like, people would buy this shit for fucking like thirty dollars. Yeah, and he's offering it to me. He's like, "Do you think I should make some? You know, because of how like morbid it looks." I'm like, "Well, it looks like fucking diarrhea." He's like. <laughs> Well, well. Anyways, do you think this would be like good for a back patch? Can can I use your can I use your code as for? I'm like, if you safety pin it on, I don't want like diarrhea on my back. You know, like right. All every fucking time, like, and he and he and he made like fourteen grand. Wow. With this shit, I'm like, why haven't you bought in a car yet? <laughs> but I would think that would be make me depressed. That's what this next one's called. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but I would personally, I would think that would be a sentence that you would never have to say. I don't want diarrhea on my back. Yeah, yeah. That's right? one of those sentences I never, ever want to say outside of this situation again. We probably have said it when we were like four. Right? Probably. I mean, like when that when it starts going up the diaper. <laughs> well, if you were still in a diaper at the age of four, then. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You deserve we- di- diarrhea on your back. You, yeah. You weren't? No. I don't want to admit that on, on a podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me neither. Uh, so yeah. many constituents out there. Yeah. 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 What are you guys talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I never, never wore diapers. Diapers exactly. are lame. Well, except for Huggies. This episode? Spo- yeah, they're a sponsor, right? Brought to you by Huggies. Exactly. Fuck See, Pampers. So speaking of fucked up kids <laughs> fucked, <laughs> fucked up kids and fucked up kids stuff, <laughs> that's the <laughs> transition. Oh, I, the, the, I messed it up because I stuttered. The, no, it's all good. No, um, I, I saw this. Uh, have you ever seen, Um, this is so fucking weird, but it, funny at the same time. Have you ever seen the Different Strokes Molester episode? Oh, yeah. No. With the dude from the bicycle shop? Yeah. Dude, that is so fucking weird. Have you watched the whole episode? Mm-hmm. That is so fucking weird because they have a laugh track. Yeah. And it goes off even when like he's luring them in. Wow. Like, like it's going up like, so are we going to have some playtime or not? <laughs> you know? I think I saw that episode on like, one of those Watch Mojo lists or something. Right. <laughs> no, it was, it was, oh man. That's fucked it's, up. Yeah. Yeah. And, like and, and then like right after commercial, it goes from like them just chilling on his couch to like uh, one of the kids has his shirt off and he's in his underwear dancing with a whiskey bottle. <laughs> like this sure is playtime, isn't it? <laughs> and this is supposed to be a sitcom. Yeah, right. Good. This, wow. is supposed, this is supposed to be a productive. Uh, l- like when they um, I think when they questioned, like why they made this even episode, they're like, oh well, this is about real stuff and how you're supposed to deal with it. Yeah, you're supposed to laugh at every fucking joke a molester says, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, okay. we should add laugh tracks to this, right? Right. Oh my yeah, god, there should be we some need effects in here. Yeah, just so our listeners know, like, yeah, that was a joke. It's laugh. always nice to know when to laugh, right? right? Yeah, and that's why I like laugh tracks. 
It, it makes shows a lot better. Right, it takes all the thinking out of it. Dude, I realized that's what fucking ruined Frasier. Yeah, laugh track. <laughs> really, yeah. yeah. The, well, because well, I read this article that it got ruined. I Sorry, man, for anybody out there, I fucking love Frasier. I don't know. Bulldog just, ruined it. I fucking love Kelsey Grammer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, lo- I, don't, I don't know who I love the most on that show. I, don't, I think I like Niles the most. That's just me. But because he's like a little bitch. <laughs> but any, anyways, um, no, I read this article that it got ruined because um, half of the fucking there's some I don't know. It's some, you know, f- fucking hipster ass article about how like, oh, this it's surrounded all about this kind of like how, you know, let's let's defabricate the shining and all the hidden meanings in it or something like yeah. deconstruct. Yeah. So um, they were talking about how like as soon as. Uh, you know, like near eighth season out of like eleven, Daph like Niles finally marries Daphne. Like, there's no sexual tension. Spoiler yeah. alert. So, so, so they, <laughs> yeah. After what, yeah. A, uh, two decades. Exactly. <laughs> Someone's listening. They're like, what? <laughs> I'm listening. Right. They're only on season seven. Yeah. Yep. Well, they they said that that tension ru- ruined half the comedy, and and it's like no, the the tension was ruined. When they would like look at each other after every joke, I think. Did you, I don't know if anybody else noticed that, but like all the way up to like season five or six, I can't. I can't even like think of a, like 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 you know how there's always like Niles and Roz hate each other, right? Mm. And then Frazier's always with Roz at the cafe. Yeah. So it'd be like, you know, Roz shows up to to Frazier. He's like, oh hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. And then. He, I don't know. So he's talking about like fishing with his dad. He's like, yeah, you know, it was really hard fishing. And then Raz is like, yeah, I could imagine it's pretty hard when, it, you know, to get a good catch. And then like Niles are coming, not for you. And like back in the day, <laughs> it would just be like them getting pissed off at each other. And now it's just like, not for you. And then Fraser's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like, no. what the fuck? Like the laugh track is still there. You don't have yeah. to make it obvious. Yeah, exactly. Know? I personally, I don't. I don't like I, most shows. Most shows I watch, most shows I don't like actually are uh, don't all have laugh tracks. I don't just, have laugh. Tra- the, don't like yeah. all the shows I like. All the shows I can't stand all have laugh tracks for the most part. That you can't. Say. Yeah, Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother. Oh yeah, I hate those fucking F- shows. Fuller House. Yeah, no, I'm starting to feel that way about that '70s show. It always seems yeah. like it's just stupid comment, stupid comment, laugh track, and then at the end, that all just ties it all together with a sentimental moment. I like the old school. Like I, I do like both. All in the Family and Jefferson's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Three's Company was cool. I like Three's Company. Yeah. Anything with Don Knotts. Anything with Don Knotts. Yeah. I like John Ritter. That's, uh, I don't dude, know. Dude, John Ritter's the man. Uh, Especially. Yeah. Wasn't he an it, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. yeah, he was uh, he the- He played Ben Hanscom. Yeah, he was the fat kid. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Grown up. Yeah. Problem mm-hmm. Child. Classic. Right. <laughs> and then uh, I think he was in Bride of Chucky. He was the cop. And he was the voice of Clifford. Oh, he was? Yeah, John Ritter. Wow. Did not know that. The cl- of the dog? Yeah, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And he was, when he died, they were filming some other sitcom with him. Hmm. It's called, I don't know, something about dating my daughter. Or, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, John Ritter's great. Don yeah. Knotts is great. But I'll tell you what's not great. What? I don't know. Sorry, I've got. Sorry, I, 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 the, there's a lot. I could there. I could never get into Seinfeld. I don't know why. Really? I I love Seinfeld. I could That's ne- one of the very very few shows with the last track I actually like. I can I, I don't know, man. Like I gave it like three tries over and over again. And I'm like, oh, maybe no. I need to be a little bit more mature or something. Or now here's a random question: Do you like Always Sunny? I I never checked it out. Yeah, because it's a lot. In my opinion, that's a more modern day uh, Seinfeld. Okay. The show about nothing. Is is that better than um? What's the Larry David show? Curb your, Curb. Th- Curb your enthusiasm. Yeah. Is it better than that? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's because, you know, Seinfeld and Curb kind of have that witty humor. Yeah. Uh, Always Sunny is just straight up blue collar. Mm. Yeah, so it's a lot more in-your-face humor. Okay. Pretty much you can skip all of season one. Any, it didn't get good until Danny DeVito came in. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't care for Always Sunny, and I don't care for Workaholics. There. Drawn the line. I love them both. I love Seinfeld. How about Trailer Park Boys? Oh, Fuck yeah, I love Trailer Park Boys. Right. <laughs> Have you ever checked it out, Bill? Never. I've only seen like an episode or two with you. Okay. Yeah, I, I love I wish it. I could eat as many cheeseburgers as Randy. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My brother always tells me that I'm Ricky because I'm doing dumb shit and I yeah. have like <laughs> philisms. 
<laughs> like, 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 yeah. Uh, he always went, dude. There's like one. I, I don't. I, I. The worst part is I don't even have these philisms when I'm high or anything. It's just like when I'm sober. Yeah. Like I completely forgot how to fucking say secret admirer. So yeah. I'm like in the middle of a sentence. I'm like, oh, what the fuck do you call it? Mystery gift giver. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck are you talking? What the hell is that? That sounds like some, you know, Unabomber shit. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, mystery gifts giver. Yeah, and uh, another another thing on the list. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of lists, yeah. Speaking what? of lists, have you seen <laughs> what's next? I'm Schindler's list. Yeah. What? That's, huh. Oh come on, that's that's Ross's line. No, oh, sorry, sorry. No, but um, what's uh, Gavin has come? So Gavin has a he he needs a ride to uh, or a day camp, mm-hmm. and the mom has um. We we like don't we, we're just I mean, it's 2018. You got to cut corners. We're just like, who the fuck is going to drive this kid? Okay, we're we're not really looking into if they're a good parent. Or sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you own a car? You can't afford yeah. a good parent. Yeah. Do you own a car? Oh oh, so you're homeless and you just but yeah. Can you ride this kid to the fucking day camp? You're you're just looking for an average parent now. Yeah. Yeah. Can he ride on your back? <laughs> oh, you have a stub leg. All right, we'll give you. We'll buy you one Nike. Uh, yeah. Have fun, Gavin. We love you. So um yeah he uh this mom she uh she's great she gives him a ride every day, and she's like super religious religious yeah what the f- <laughs> get him words because of that great movie right religious yeah good. that is a good movie I thought it was an okay movie he just had one point and he just kept repeating it the entire time yeah like, oh do you believe he lived in the whale no well then it's all bullshit and you're all stupid and that was like the entire movie I agree you want to explain any Michael Moore movie too at the same aspect oh, sure yeah. But I don't. It was. It didn't open my eyes or anything. It's like, oh, you're kind of a prick. But well, I mean, you got to be blunt with that shit, no? Sure, but it's just him being blunt in the exact same way to just a bunch of different people, and his argument never really changed. It was just, so, do you believe that someone could survive in the belly of a whale? No, you can't. Well, I do. And Pinocchio did. That's right, he did. Yeah. And and Geppetto. And he became a real boy. It's true. That yeah. now that's a documentary. Docu- exactly, I stand behind. Documented case of it actually working. Yeah. Well, you Pinocchio guys are dumbasses. That's my point. Oh, I'm playing Bill Maher right now. Oh, you're doing a great job. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I didn't realize we can afford Bill Maher. <laughs> we no, I got, I got into this fucking ar- <laughs> argument at, at work, like, we, like, like, and I felt like Bill Maher because it's like, well, okay, I actually got in trouble at my old job for the, for opening my fucking mouth. So I'm like, all these people like me. They're cool with me. I'm like this funny little fucking weirdo because I'm not like the stereotypical Polak that they think. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, wait, he'd rather smoke weed than vodka and beat wife? What? <laughs> you know? is, that a, is that a Polish stereotype that they drink vodka and beat wife? No, I think it's just vo- the, uh, there's a lot of alcoholics. Is that like a Russian? Is that like Slavic? I think it's Slavic, okay. yeah. I've always been told my friends don't get into a drinking contest with Polaks, especially when it comes to vodka. Yeah. I mean, I, I heard the same thing about like like either Polish or Irish, right? Yeah, but it's just like, I guess that I think vodka is their stereotypical drink. Yeah, just like just like Guinness and whiskey is Irish. Stereotypical. Sure. Yeah. Shout out to Ireland. Shout exactly. out to Ireland, right? So speaking of Ireland, fifty percent. <laughs> speaking of Irish who drink a lot, right? uh, Gavin found a ride oh, to yeah. camp. Yeah, so uh, this kid uh, he goes with, they they go to mass like every fucking day. The one that was jumping in the castle. Yeah, he was trying to wreck my satanic cat castle. Because God he, told him to, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, he heard it somewhere. I don't know what the fuck. Anyways, he um um he he gets a medallion each time he goes to mass. Yeah. So he has like this. It om- it, it it looks like the whole bottom part is silver because he collects each medallion and just puts it on this shitty piece of yarn. Yeah. And it looks like a used tampon. <laughs> it's like a weird red pinky, and it's and it sweats in it. So, is this like the equivalent of like you know like alcoholics and narcotic, n- narcotics and narcotics anonymous like the like the sober like the like the chips they get every like you know newcomers chips every three months you're sober. I think now, so. Now you're getting a medallion. Hey, you've been religious for like for like a year. Yes, you, congratulations. <laughs> exactly. You're more delusional. Exactly. Here you go. Throw this away. You're someday. one millionth communion. Yeah. Da da da. Slightly fucking. So, so you threw it away. No, so so um Gavin got one and he wanted to have a necklace. I'm like, dude, I'm going to get you so much of a better necklace. I could ma- I could make a pentagram and brand it into your chest. <laughs> you know, like and uh, yeah, no, I it was it was very devastating for me that sure. he wants to get a nick. 
So, um, but yeah, speaking of, yeah, no, I got in, uh, I got in like a, like I try to keep my mouth shut at this job because it's even better, like to not deal with people. But it's like, oh, how was your day? And the, and as soon as, like every single day, there was small talk, just chilling, and then suddenly, how the fuck are you Polish? You get baptized and you Buddhist? I don't understand. You were you were in water. I'm like, well, it was. That that's fuck. Every person's putting their hand in there, and I know that I learned how to masturbate at a young age. So yeah, that's the kind of water I, I got dipped in. You know, I didn't say that to him, but you got to. Sure. Be, and I'm trying to be gentle with him. Pick your battles. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm going to keep my mouth shut about it because he's just like, well, how? he's like, you know, you don't under, have you read the Bible? I'm like, yeah, I have. And there's there's literally like a list of 20 verses that are about how it's okay to rape. Women. Mm-hmm, exactly. And then. How it's okay to beat your wife and your, and your slaves yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, no. Does he believe that someone could survive in the belly of a whale? Ask uh, him that. And then call him stupid. With <laughs> vodka or no vodka? The, vodka? Of course, vodka. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. When Gavin came home, did you have vodka and beat beat him? No, um, he had to be he had to be beating Kelly. Your coworker yeah. would be so disappointed yeah, in you. I had a hard day, so I gave the vodka to Gavin and let him do the job on <laughs> Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> well, technically, you can't beat Kelly up because she's not your wife yet. Oh right. yeah, yeah, exactly. Shit. See, I can't fit in. She's not I your property yet. I just can't fit in. I'm that weirdo who yeah, the fuck, man. Man, that's life. Is that why you got engaged to her so you can beat her after you uh, drink some vodka? Well, it's so reading, romantic. Yeah, no, I am reading the Bible. I mean, and, and I, I want to do it the right way. Every time you turn the page, you backhand her. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That was a. Yeah, sorry. Got to the page. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's love. That's what this is all about. That's why we're here. If you were to hit her with the Bible, would you be beating the bejesus into her? Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, very funny. Point. I think I think yeah. that happened. And she was like, "Ah, man." I'm like, "No, it's Amen." <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. What the f- yeah. She, she listens to this, right? Does she get a kick out of like? Oh, she the loves wife it. beating jokes. Yeah. And if uh, she doesn't, yeah, <laughs> then she's gonna learn. That's right. Which what's she a woman? What's she a woman get do? these jokes? <laughs> <laughs> what's a woman do when she gets back from the battered clinic? The uh. dishes if she knows what's good for her. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> Kevin. How do you uh? Why can't women drive? There's, Why, Kevin? There's no road between the bedroom and the kitchen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Funny thing is, my mom actually told me most of my women jokes. That, mm. Yeah. That's sad. She's yeah. got to stand up for her. Why can't Helen Keller drive? Because she's a woman. But um. Hey, oh. Well, so I was thinking about it. I'm like, dude, don't you think, and I'm being serious right now. Don't, don't you think, uh, like, how the fuck is instilling religion in a kid? Don't you think that's fucking bad? I th- I personally, yes, I think so. I mean, I, I think he should, like, decide whatever the fuck he wants. Exactly. I didn't. I I was baptized and had my first communion and stuff, but I that none of that happened until I was in middle school. My parents didn't. My parents want me to under, actually understand what was going on. Yeah. And I didn't tell them this, but I actually did not understand anything that was going on. Yeah. I was yeah. like, I'm eating a really stale cracker that was dipped in the wine and yeah. having water splashed yeah. on top of my head. Or, or fucking, oh, everybody... Wait, why did everyone light a firecracker on their forehead? Oh, no, it's Ash Wednesday. Exactly, know? yeah. Like, what the f- Oh, man. If you think about it, really, a religion... And especially if you grow up, like, I was super fucking fat. It's like, why the fuck aren't these Jesus chips at least, like, French onions? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah, no. But, like, if you think about it, most religion... Religion, by by definition, is actually a cult. Oh, yeah. If you actually think about it, technically speaking, they're all cults. So that's why I love when they make fun of science when they all complain about Scientologists. Yeah. Like you're pretty much the exact same thing. Yeah. Not to the fullest extent as they are, because they're fucked up people. But they are they are taking people's money, making yeah. people shun making people shun their family members and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So And and I love how like when because I, I, I was I had this shit jammed on my throat like since I was fucking kindergarten and by that i mean like you know priests having fun yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but uh, uh, yeah you, we need a left track but but it was great for f- like fucking y- you know you go from history class where you no, you go from like reli- religion class it's like oh yeah it's a sin to do all these things it's a sin to kill it's a sin to you know torture and, and all this and then you go to history class oh let's learn about the crusaders you know mm-hmm, exactly let's, like, let's take over all of fucking you know norway finland you know kill all these fucking vikings because we're right exactly yeah. it's a sin to murder someone unless you murder someone in the name of god right not to mention like i realize that like don't, don't you think it's kind of like giving a kid like 
I'm trying to get Gavin, um, because he's kind of shy, to maybe like involved in sports and to yeah. be competitive. Don't you think like if it's giving somebody false hope if it's like, oh, I'm just, you know, I, I was lazy today. I guess I'll pray later and maybe I'll be a little bit yeah, more active. No. Like it's just giving them false hopes, sort of, no? I, I, I think it's funny that as an atheist, you're supposed to respect everyone else's beliefs, but yeah. there is no Catholic out there that respect your beliefs as you would respect the atheist belief. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, turn the other cheek. That's the atheist rule, right? <laughs> you know, you know. But if you mean my ass, yeah, <laughs> kiss my ass. Ooh. 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 Spicy. That is not follow Playboy's highest standards. <laughs> 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 no, but uh fucking no, you know you know what ended my conversation with the with that guy at my work as I told him I'm like, well, um, you know that um you know that I actually proved that because of the environmental region and because of geography and because of DNA that Jesus is actually a completely huge Angela Davis fro black Jew. Are you willing to accept that? And he's like that is a fucking cartoon you read. Is it, that is not true. <laughs> I actually wish that was the actual image of Jesus. Right? Just a just a guy with a fro? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I think I think if you look more like Samuel L. Jackson, it's fucking awesome compared to the pussy that he's everywhere, you know, blind exactly. or blue eyed and just like this is my heart, guys. Yeah. Pray. You, you know. know. Right? I think exactly. it has a lot to do with tradition. Tradition? I don't know, like going back to like instilling it in kids who asked if it was right or wrong. Yeah, like I don't know. That's that was his defense too. He's like, you know, you are you are raised in Catholic family. You pass it on. You pass it on. You pass. But that's still kind. Of, that's almost like uh, close to like racist beliefs too. If you you're just gonna pass right. it on because it's traditional. If sure. you think about it too, did did you enjoy being woken up every Sunday early in the morning? Yeah, exactly. Did, being dragged to a place you didn't want to go to. Yeah, you're a man that you don't understand. Talk honestly. That is the one benefit that I fucking think that Catholic school kids get over public. What? is learning early on that life is going to be shitty because you're going to have to do a lot of things that you don't want to fucking exactly, do. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And have absolutely no explanation. It builds character. Yeah. Well, the explanation is that you need to have faith. Yeah. Faith, faith, I have faith, faith that this is not real. <laughs> Fred yeah. Durst taught me that on yeah. this cover. Right? Uh, did he cover that? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's that's what got Limp Bizkit on the scene. That's before, hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, He that, that was uh, before um, Nookie. That's, man... There was nothing before Nookie in my life. Right. Then Nookie came and everything changed. <laughs> you stopped I worship breaking, Fred Durst. You stopped breaking stuff. Uh, Things just, were rearranged. Just feels like one of those days. Yeah. So I don't know. I I mean, how would you guys deal with it? Haven't I mean I, I'm obviously uh definitely going to do some, you know, satanic rituals with him to sure, help yeah. him understand. Show him the, the other side. Tradition. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But uh you you must pass it on. Exactly. Well, you got to show them the God way. You got to show them the devil way, too. That's right. Yeah. I mean, personally, I'd rather go to hell than heaven. At least hell has all the sluts. Right? Yeah. yeah. Woo! That, no, that that really, like all jokes aside, that is a good defense. I yeah. mean, who the fuck is going to be cool in heaven? Exactly. Yeah. All the drugs and beer and alcohol are all in hell. Yeah, right? And I'm used to that hot heat at you know, the welding place. And exactly. you, you couldn't like, handle the Renaissance Fair. I imagine hell's a lot hotter. Right. Yeah, if you can handle eating soup in 90 degree weather. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, you can pretty much handle anything. <laughs> and, oh, and I didn't mention in the rena- about the the tomato guy. You know that that was the best thing. So at the if for anybody who doesn't know, in like Renaissance times, there was a guy who had his head in a fucking like latch stockade. Yeah, and and he's and he like roasts you so that you throw more tomatoes at his face. Well, or, back we, in the day, was, time? it was a almost okay. Fine. Yeah, it was a punishment. Like you would be publicly humiliated they'd put you in the stocks okay. and people would just come i yeah. think like the comedian in the stocks is like their quick little fun twist on it yeah and uh well it, well it was funny because um so like it, it seemed like everybody there was waiting for that other than like if you're like a really disgusting looking nerd who came there just to show off your costume sure Every, everybody else but just half the people there probably yeah 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 but 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 everybody like was waiting for that tomato guy to set up, and they were so fucking good. There was two guys that had to switch, you know, because it gets hurt getting hit in the face of the tomato. Yeah. But um, yeah, they back starts there after a while too, bending over like that. The stockades. Yeah, that's welding. Yeah. No, but uh, fucking um, yeah. The as soon as I walked up, he roasted me for like ten fucking minutes. He's like, oh, this fucking hipster in his pink shirt and his skinny jeans. Christ, you, you're gonna do some ballerina things, or is that too cool for you now? And and he just kept. I forgot what else he said about me. That but sounds he, pretty hurtful. 
It, 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 that I, would, I thought it was hilarious. It was like I, Jeff Ross, Roastmaster, you know? I actually hate being called a hipster, so I would, I, I'd want to throw a tomato at him. Yeah, yeah. That's their that's their strategy. I, I was going to go up and be like, man, I'm actually a hopster because yeah. hipster's too cool. <laughs> I, was a hip, I was a hipster before I was cool. That's right. Yeah, fuck hipsters. Everybody was laughing at me. It was great. Do you think? Uh, do you think he gets a commission? Like his paycheck is based on how many tomatoes he gets thrown. So no, they definitely don't keep track. No, because because there's people getting pissed off. Not because because when it's not busy, he's just roasting random people, and they <laughs> keep coming up. There's there's this uh there's this black guy with a like really huge uh, dress shirt, and he had like sideburns and a huge afro, and he's like, oh here. What what downward spiral did you go down, Lenny Kravitz? Was that fly fly away song about the buttons flying off your fat shirt? <laughs> <laughs> he just kept going. It was fucking oh. great. There's uh there's like two little girls in pink uh dresses. One of them was like slightly lighter pink. It's like, oh yeah, is this the before and after of going to a fucking toothless guy, Bubble Yum? That makes you it makes me wonder how successful of a comedian he is though. Yeah, yeah. It, insulting people to have tomatoes thrown at him. Yeah, right? They must have really been scraping the bottom of the bucket. Right. Yeah, he made it finally. Exactly, if that's his definition of making it, he's got to really like work out some new values in his life. Right. Shoot for the moon. Exactly. Yeah. Is that? Do they just tour around the Renaissance Fair? Like, is I was I was wondering about that because he he was saying he's from Georgia. Okay. Funny funny thing is he, the the guy that was because there were two guys. There was one that's like a pirate, and then there's one that's uh he's just like a redneck, um and he um. The redneck one was better than the pirate, but uh, the redneck one was from Georgia. And funny thing was, like, I, I was going to go up there thinking, like, I can roast you better because the redneck guy looked exactly like the singer from Lamb of God. <laughs> but I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, what kind of Lamb of God jokes can you make? Right. Oh, yeah, next song. <laughs> no, 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 this one you know the words to. <laughs> you know? I, I don't know what Lamb of God songs or, or right. Lamb of God jokes you can make. Right. To. And he probably wouldn't get them. Yeah. Uh, Probably. So did you so. throw a tomato? No, I didn't throw any tomatoes. I wanted I wanted him to roast me because uh, I had a dirty thirty. Like I'm thirty one now. My and my last uh, birthday, I invited like all my friend list to come because I wanted everyone to fucking roast me. Yeah. And they roasted me good because nobody showed up. Hey, <laughs> so <laughs> that's a good joke, <laughs> right? That write that down. <laughs> that's that fucking good? funny. Yeah, that's a really good joke. Add it to the list. Yeah, it was hor- it was horrible. I ha- I just pretty much sat around and got high while my ma tweaked that I'm getting high. <laughs> so <laughs> that yeah. sounds like birthday. a good birthday to me, right? Yeah. So um, yeah. I don't know. I, I was I was like wondering should if is he gonna do more jokes if I go up and throw tomatoes at him? You know. Maybe you probably just slip him a twenty and he'll tell you jokes for hours. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I need some self-deprecation. Right. Come Bring him a fourteen dollar pickle on a stick. Right, he'll love you forever. Oh man, how tired do you think they get of that food? Yeah, very probably. Uh, speaking of lists, how are we doing on time? I've actually probably got going. All right, well, all right, this is a good time to. Yeah, let's wind down. Wind down. Let's say a special thank you to everyone out there mm-hmm. for listening, for tuning in. If you need to get a hold of us or want to give us comments or feedback or anything, our email is hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. It's the podcast, but with just no G's, at gmail.com. And you can find us on Podbean. We're working on getting on Spotify. We're working on getting on iTunes. And we're going to take over the whole fucking world. It's yep. going to be great. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us of today. Of course, I yeah. I hope you, uh, was it an enriching experience? It was. You? It really was. Good. It was yeah. my. This is my attempt of sounding interesting. Oh. And keep trying. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We'll get there someday. Yes. Uh, Phil? Let's uh, send our love to Ireland and yep, our hate to France. Right? Fuck you, France. Uh, oh, two thirds, two thirds of our hate. Two thirds. Yeah. I also want to say, just well, on people we don't like, fuck the vegans too. Also, uh, also Ross, uh, you were supposed to fight, say nothing, and John, and or uh, say nothing and Zach Domino Sandry, mm-hmm. and uh, John has backed out, so that's an automatic win. You know. Yeah, Ross is so, uh, Ross is undefeated. So I guess he was right about him being a pussy. I don't know. There you go. He doesn't even show up to the fight. He's fucking under this table still. (laughs) (laughs) So from all of us here at Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing, to all of you out there in internet land, wherever you may be, thank you and good night. What does it sound like Tom Brokaw? Uh, Thank you, Ed.